time in the match. Lloyd is trailing. Then we see an unsavoury reaction. Crowd stunned, John. Absolutely stunned. I don't think anyone can believe what they're seeing up there. Well, well there's the reaction, isn't it? Yes, indeed. They, they have seen it. They can't believe it. And they're reacting, many of them, to it. Uh, he's a very likeable lad, Colin. He's a very likeable lad, but he can be, at times, his own worst enemy. And I think we've seen it. That's his uh, girlfriend, uh, Carol, with uh, Roland Shelton's partner. Good family friends, the Shelton's and Lloyd's. Colin, you require 130. Here you go. Here you go. Double five to get the show back on the road. 120. Well, he's missed it. But Belga's a mile behind here. It'll be Lloyd's first leg since the back end of the second set. Now, Lloyd was 6 1 up in legs. Not that it's match play darts, but he's now trailing 8 6. Lost the frustration, of course. Colin, you require 10. Oh. One for double two. Oh, he's once double one here. He's gone a different route. Eight Unlucky four. there. Unlucky. Near, Andre but no. Welga got this last leg. He managed to take the lead in the match with double 12. Can he now extend that lead and put himself within one leg of a famous victory? Double six he wants for the leg. Gets and it. Two sets all. Oh, two oh, legs oh, to oh, nil to oh, Belga. Oh, Who oh, would oh, have oh, believed oh, this, Rod Stodd? 20 minutes ago. 80. Right. We've seen a lot of players in all sorts of sports completely implode on a big stage. Greg Norman did it in the Masters famously. James Wade did it at the Grand Slam of darts famously. And oh, Lloyd no, no, is doing no, it 40. here. He hasn't won any of the last eight legs. He's thrown more punches in this match than Audley Harrison did against David Hay, but unfortunately he's hitting the dartboard and not Andre Valga. <laughs> yes, that's a good point. Uh, well, so, so frustrating it can be. How things can turn against you when you've done all the hard work and got yourself Forty. ahead and within striking distance of victory and then suddenly you lose it and he has, he's lost, it's okay. his form that went two sets, not bad, 90 average then suddenly, for some reason, he couldn't maintain it and yeah. this lad has just got better and better but Lloyd's got to tell himself John, that he can still win this game. It's not over till Velga hits the match winning double. Those three One trebles though, take him to within three darts of the finishing line. But he's still got to hit the match winning double on the big stage in yep. front of the big crowd. Yeah, but didn't he take his time? Brilliant 140 from Lloyd to hang on in there. Didn't Velga take his time over that 180? He really looks as though he means business now that's a great dart 61 left lloyd will have to step up one fields and take out 86 colin otherwise rod it'll be oh the scene colin lloyd what's the ball here to stay in the match he's yes. oh yeah oh yeah that is drama that is theater that is sport that is a magnificent moment for him the very and best for of everybody place. watching Taylor. that brilliant, brilliant moment. Well, he hit the ball there, John, didn't he, with the power pack punch in the correct manner, with the tip of his dart, 45. not the full force of his fist. This game is not over yet. It's not over yet. Lloyd's still in there fighting, quite literally. Did you 86. notice, before he threw that dart at the bull, a smile came over his face and, it, well, it worked. It. I think somebody said something now, whether it was something amusing Maybe. that tickled him, I don't know, John, 81. but he seemed to just laugh. It was almost as if someone had cracked a joke. 
that was a fantastic moment in an amazing turnaround game. Well, this oh. is a, a real muck and nettles dart, proper darts match now, John, isn't it? Toe to toe, street fighting, sawdust on the floor darts game now, isn't it? Yes, this could be at the dog and duck. The floating feather. This is a brilliant darts match now. It's not a classic, 58. but it's a great game. And uh, both players have to be given credit for that. Oh, fighting back, fighting back to leave 170. He knows he's got the darts in the net. Mind you, if he wins this leg, of course, it's got to be won by two clear legs. Battled back from the brink. Oh, yes. But if he wins this leg, it is curtains. Well, he's not going to get the 170, but needs a treble. That'll do. Bull would leave tops. Well, he's come out for a treble 18, double 18, but it's not so bad. Belga can't finish, John. So, well, Lloyd's going to get a chance to send us into overtime. For the first time in these championships, if Lloyd can take out 72. It will oh, have to be won by two clear legs. That's the last time you. That's the last thing you need in Colin this Young circumstance. A bounce out, but 72 for Jaws. Double 12. Come down an inch. Oh, 16. that's an inch and a bit. Andre, you require 137. Velga, 137. Colin Lloyd isn't just biting his nails. Looked like he was going to bite his finger off. This is for the match. It's not going to happen. So Lloyd. Well, three darts at double six job, and look at the pressure. Berger is on tops if he misses. And Lloyd will not want... Oh, he's at the wrong double! It's a beautiful dart in terms of the line, but a dreadful one in terms of the length. And Colin Lloyd knows now it's out of his hands. The German, Andre Belga, wants double ten, double five for the most famous victory. Not equal to it. Lloyd is still alive. Double six, double three. He's got it. He's got it. Colin Lloyd is balancing on the tightrope, but he's still on the tightrope. He's still in the World Championship. Berger missed three darts for the match. Still got to hit the winning double, John. Still got to hit the winning double. It just shows how difficult it is to close out a darts match on the big stage. Yes, I think Belga's hiding his emotions there. A little hug, a little smile, but I think he's... I think his mind is really Anyone? saying, I should have won. And he should. With those three darts, he should have wrapped it up. They didn't threaten the outer ring, though, did they, John? One no, home. they didn't threaten. They didn't, and that's because it was so big a moment. You had alluded to it earlier on. It was so big a moment. You almost wonder if it was too big, oh, and the added experience it. now of Lloyd been on the big stage so many more times than this man well Lloyd now knows at least one thing he knows that Velga is very flaky 60. he knows that when the pressure comes on and the heat comes on Velga might fail if Lloyd can tighten the screw tighten the vice he can go on to win from the brink of defeat yes two sets all Two legs all, all to play for in this first round match. A place in the second round on Monday, December 95. 27 evening. Colin, you require 140. Fair against Mark Hilton. Thirty-eight. Well, there's a mile behind Belga. He's got to get two trebles here, John. Has to get within the frame. I tell you, I, I wouldn't be saying that Lloyd's a certainty from here. This could turn again. You never know. This oh. game's gone one way than the other so many times. You, you're, right, you're right, Rod. You, you cannot guarantee. That's a brilliant dart. He really oh, needed that. Anything but a treble there, and he'd have been in trouble. He can still go out, Velga. Lloyd, 82 left. 
Now he wants 17 to leave tops. 62. Now this 146. Andre, you require 100. If he gets this, he will never hit a bigger, a better three-figure score in his career. And he can't now. He was going for two treble 19s, double 16. Now in the last leg, we saw Velga make an awful 59. hash of getting rid of 40 Holland with three darts. 40. Lloyd wants tops. Yeah, Lloyd goes in front player. again. Lloyd to within one Six leg player. of the Andre match. He was one dart from defeat, John. Now he's one Game leg one. away from winning. Yeah, that amazing 86 finish. 18 18. And the bull really did the biz for Colin Lloyd. It was an amazing moment in his amazing career. That 170 check out at Blackpool. We talk, that wasn't absolutely vital, but that 86 was. So, 60, 60 only. This could yet, Rodney, be three legs all. It could go to five legs all. And one sudden death leg. By yeah. the crowd have enjoyed this match. And they enjoyed it. Terrific. Terrific 59. stuff. But now the pressure has come full circle. The fickle finger of fate is pointing at Colin Lloyd and saying, It could be you, Colin! It could be you! Yes, no fickle fingers there from Lloyd as he hit two treble 20s. Never mind a five when you're in this situation. Hitting two treble 20s gives a wonderful feeling. Because at the moment, these two 90. lads are going through the mill. Make no mistake about that. Oh, 60. Only 60, only 60. Advantage, Belga. It's almost not about scoring anymore, John, is it? This is about edgy, edgy finishing, flaky finishing, yeah. nervous finishing. I know exactly what you say, and I'm with 99. you 100% on that. You get as many as you can, you're grateful for every treble you score. Somehow, as he's looking now to put another treble in. Oh, fantastic throw in from Lloyd under pressure. I almost think he's got beyond the point where he's under pressure. After all, he's survived three match points against him, and now it's Felga struggling here gainfully hanging on in there 76 scored 78 left 60 when he goes 92. and he may not go this is Colin for the Lloyd match Rob Colin Lloyd two chances in a treble got it 16 for double top to come back from the dead yeah. Colin yeah. Lloyd yeah. comes yeah. back from the dead against Belga Colin who had three darts to knock him out Lloyd has somehow Dredged a win from somewhere. What a match! What a saga that was! Colin Lloyd, down and out, almost, is now in round two. Everyone's got an opinion. What's yours worth?